Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break, where I'm actually going to be running in Breakout again. But I know what you're saying. Well, you ran the uh, lustrous Longan Paradise Breakout, and you also ran the City of Wizards like random Breakout Challenge, and you already did that Yo Gherkin one a bit back, so like you know a while ago. So what are you gonna do now? Well, I wanted to test out something new that they added. If I go over to Breakout, and specifically we're gonna be doing the lustrous Longan Palace. It's not even Paradise's Palace, but. If we go ahead and press change difficulty, they have an easy mode. Now, the rewards for this are absolutely not as good. And there's only five numbers of runners that you can go with this with. So, that might be interesting. I want to give my hand at this. So, I'm going to go through this, and you can only select up to five cookies, too. So, this can honestly just go on for one video. So, I don't have to extend this to two. So the five cookies that all Mac gave me were strawberry, uh, cherry ball, pizza, Dr. Bones cookie, and candle light. So I don't think it's gonna give me like instantly give me the rewards unless it, it would actually be pretty cool if they gave you two separate rewards. Like oh you beat it in easy, here's some rewards, but you also beat it in hard, so here's some also here's some extra rewards. That would be cool. But for now, I'm just gonna try and run with this in the easy mode, and I'm gonna showcase how much more easy it can be. I really don't think there's going to be a difference. I think the main difference is the fact that there's less levels available. And also, the cap for levels isn't that much. Like, for example, uh, it said only it goes up to stages 4. So that means it's once we get to level 4, the level is just going to repeat. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as difficult as, like, let's say, level 8 repeat. Because if you watch the uh, original breakout for that and the, uh, you know, the normal mode for this... You would see how difficult that was, especially since I think I ran through that, like, I don't know, I want to say three, like three times, like two times to its full extent through the whole level, but also like extra, like another extra time because uh, I didn't go through all the way, but I still managed to like loop around the whole stage. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I looped around basically like three times, but... This is going to be definitely easier, only just because of the fact that it's not going to be as many stages as I loop through. And honestly, I was expecting to record like two parts of this, which, uh, honestly, I don't mind that at all. And also, interestingly enough, I don't think I'm seeing those orbs. Like the special break- oh, wait, yes I do. Never mind. I thought I wasn't going to be able to see them, but never mind, they're there. Got that, got that, and got that. Nice, so we got some extra points there. And we are still getting a majority of the points here, too. And I guess the max, uh, like I said, the max, what was it, placing? I guess, yeah, that. Uh, the max placing you can really get is Ruby. So, Ruby 1. You can't even get Diamond. So, honestly, I wouldn't recommend running in this, only just because normal just gives so much more rewards than how, it, you know, it normally would. But, uh, still, I would recommend only running in this, only for the fact that, like, you need to test out how this breakout works, and you don't want to go through, like, Oh, the full extent of all the cookies. But then again, that's weird because, like, I know that's, like, it's kind of, like, purpose because, like, obviously... Oh, well, I didn't get to use all the, like, the rest of my gesture shoot jumps, so that's kind of a waste of points. But still, 350 million, but I'll explain, like, the rest of what my point was trying to be in, like, the next run because I feel like I'm onto something here. Go ahead and move on with our next cookie, which I think is Cherry Ball. But as I was saying... Just load up. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even on the board. Wow, I... A 33? Oh, it has a higher... Oh, yeah. Oh, is there... uh, maybe it's supposed to have, like, more people showing off. Because I'm pretty sure it normally would have the top 30. But maybe I could be wrong on that. But anyway. People are definitely running away better than I am. Rainmaker. <laughs> but anyway. I did not mean to press play. I meant to press next cookie. Oh, my plumbing. Son of a... Alright. Anyway. It still keeps the score, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So. What I was trying to mention before is, uh... I guess this, uh, playing through it in easy mode would be viable to, like, test out the levels so you really be- You really wouldn't be, like, risking as much. But here's the thing that I don't understand. Wouldn't it still make sense to run through, like, the normal mode of this? Because here's the thing. You'd be running through stages 5 and through 8, too. 5, 6, 7, and 8. So you could have experience with those stages as well. Like, of course, maybe it would give you, like, maybe, like, playing, playing through easy would give you, like, a little bit of, like, a teaser to what you expect in the full breakout, but still, at that point, I feel like you would get more out of what you're playing if you just go ahead and use, like, just go through the normal mode. And at this point, I really want to call normal mode the hard mode, but there's, there's no such thing as a hard mode of the breakout yet, because honestly, I feel like if there should be a hard mode of a breakout, then that would imply, like, uh, you know, th like, this is easy mode, normal mode would be 10 cookies, hard mode would be, like, 15 cookies, but there would be more levels, and that's the problem. 
there really can't be a hard mode because there needs to be a lot of levels for that to continue on because literally i think when i first played through this on the normal mode i was literally just on a uh, you know stage eight and like i think i was there for like i don't know how many cookies it was like let's say it was like three let's say i got there by cookie number eight that would mean I would have to, like, stay there for, like, with, like, eight cookies. I would stay on stage eight with eight cookies because of how far and how much it loops. There wouldn't be anything new. Now, in my opinion, if you want to make it interesting, it would be cool that after stage eight, at least after one loop around, if you're doing this in the hard mode, what it would do after you beat the main eight stages is that it would go ahead and, like, go to random stages. It would randomly pick... Like, what stage? Like, let's say I'm running at this one and it's, like, the hard mode. Like, let's say I'm running a stage 8 and then all of a sudden it takes me back to, uh, stage 3. And, like, you know, or stage 2. This is stage 2. But it takes me back to, uh, stage 2 in which I have to go through this again and try and remember where everything is and just utilize on points. Now, of course, that is gonna be interesting because, uh, it would still vary on the type of points that you would get. Because, like, let's say if you want to get the high score of it, then, like, you need to make sure that you get repeats of the best levels fast, but... I feel like that can be solved by, like, making sure that the uh, randomized levels are, like, locked every rotation, or, like, every week whenever the br uh, breakout rewards are given, but I really hope this is making sense, because in my head it makes sense, but to a lot of people, it might not, because I might be stupid. We'll go ahead and go on to our third cookie, which I think... No, Dr. Bones cookie would be our, our third. No, I mean fourth. Who's our third? Pizza cookie. Okay, that makes sense. Of course, the two cookies who are part of the update is one after the other. But anyway... Yeah, just gotta focus on- it doesn't matter what the difficulty is, you just gotta focus on- focusing on delivering the pizza. And that's always a hard time. But, okay. Anyway, now we're at the Slithering Snake Chambers. Fantastic. And, does this end at a- I don't remember what stage this specifically ends at. I wanna say it ends at the Pattaya stage. But then again, would that be fitting? Because I'm trying to think. It, wouldn't a stage 5 be the Pattaya Dragon one? Which then would lead to a stage 6, 7, and 8 being the Ananash Dragon one, the Lotus Dragon one, and then finally the uh, one for the Longan Dragon. That's what I'm assuming. So there's probably one stage after this one that I completely forgot about, but I have no idea. Whatever it is, our last, like, couple of cookies are just going to run through stage 4 endlessly. But we can get there faster at the very least with the help of pizza cookies. Bicycle- is it a bicycle? I don't know, it's a, it's a pizza car literally just a pizza car i don't even know what to call it can we make one of these in real life because i would absolutely drive that and like i wouldn't be surprised if like uh some ceo of a pizza company like ended up like using that to like get around i don't know why that sound is still cute but all right oh yeah we're also snapshotting everything too you know you got to get a picture of the customers when they order the pizza because you got to see the smile on their face anyway all these, these, those snakes, they slither weird. They don't walk, they slither. But it, they were kind of like, I don't know, pulsating. It didn't look healthy. But what do I know about snake anatomy? Like, I don't know a single thing about it. And also, I feel like I'm getting reasonably less points. And that might be just me, but I just feel like we aren't getting as many points as I remember. And this could be just me going like, the greedy part of me just going like, Oh, I've always been getting like these great amount of points. But I don't know, I feel like with Pizza Cookie, I'd be at least reaching like, maybe 400 million by this point. But maybe energy, maybe energy is shorter, but I have no idea. I can't remember, for the life of me. But I definitely know, I can, I can sense, I can just feel how much more easy this is. Even on Cookie Number 3, we haven't even breached 1 billion points, which is sad. But hey, maybe Dr. Wasabi didn't provide me with the right cookies, but I don't know. Something I can also absolutely know is that these cookies are like, running like... Their runs don't last as long. Like, I feel like usually these runs would go up to at least four minutes. But that one took only, like, I don't know, a little bit more than two minutes just about. Because that was pretty quick, surprisingly. I don't know, but maybe at the very least we can reach uh, 1.5 billion? I want to say that's my bare minimum of what I want to reach. I still need to get Dr. Bone Cookie's pet maxed up. That is hard saying plural, trust me. I need to get that pet maxed up because, hey, that can definitely help. Because it restores energy, and can definitely help make me run longer. And farther. Running longer and farther are definitely the most important things. Don't lick me- well, By the way, I just- Flying snakes! <laughs> Those are just little, like, flying, rolled up snakes. That should not be, like, analytically possible. Like, how is that- I, I, I understand, like, maybe they're sent by, uh- Oh, that was bad. I could restart, but come on, it's just easy mode. Am I really gonna care? Like- 
honestly, I could understand, like, you know, it's from the Longan Dragon, so maybe they have the capabilities flying, but just at that point, use the eyeballs. Why just chuck snakes at me? In fact, that wouldn't even make sense. I feel like it would make more sense for those to come from Snake Fruit Cookie. Unless if they both control snakes somehow, but I don't know. I feel like it would make more sense for Snake Fruit to control the snakes and Longan to control, like, plumbing everything else. Even, like, look at everything, like, okay, I'll give him credit. I now notice that nice attention to, to uh, detail. When you look at the squares, you see how little spikes come out of them, but also the squares have the design of snakes. So it's literally like little fangs poking out of them. I'll give him credit. That is a nice tiny bit of detail that I guarantee you no one has really looked at. Only because they were too focused trying to survive. That's probably just me though. But we are getting a lot of points there just from that destruction. This destructional beam. Despite being a doctor, he also has time to destroy everything in this path. In their path. But, yeah. How do you think he uh, became a skeleton? How do you think they became a skeleton? What the fuck is wrong with me? They were just, uh, blasting people off, and just used their layer. Yeah, okay. Is- No, this isn't the last one. Uh, this is the, uh, Long Game Paradise, but isn't this- I feel like this would be stage 7. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe this is stage 4, and then after this it would be, uh, the Pattaya Dragon Cookie level, then the, uh, Ananas Dragon Cookie level, then the Lotus Dragon. But, doesn't that make sense, like, it doesn't make sense story-wise, because literally how it was, was because, like, everything was gonna go down, and we also met Snake Fruit Cookie, but in order, after meeting Snake Fruit Cookie, we would've went to, uh, Pattaya Dragon Cookie's Valley, the, the, you know, the Dragon Valley, where Pattaya Dragon Cookie is, then the Tropical Soda Islands, where, uh, the plumbing, uh, you know, Ananas Dragon is, and then we would've went to the, uh, Lotus Paradise, where the Lotus Dragon is. And then, after that, we would've gone here. So, I feel like... Easy mode really just, like, <laughs> it retcons a bunch of the story, because I really think it went to stages 1, 2, 3, and 7. But I think stage 7 is just being masked to be stage 4. Just for, to fit everything in, and to give you a nice tease for what's to come in the hard mode. No, we, we still did get, like, for over 300 million points, which I am happy about that. But at this point, I can definitely tell you, I am not satisfied. Probably because I'm just too accustomed to like playing the normal mode and getting all the loot and experiencing all the levels and running with a bunch of different cookies. And of course there's the fails, but I haven't really failed much in this one other than like, I guess, missing one important jelly to get me more points. But really that doesn't hit, that, that doesn't emotionally hurt me at all. Alright, we have one more cookie that we can run with and I'm hoping it's a good one. I should remember, but of course I don't. Candlelight cookie. This can definitely- Oh, I think it still gives us, like, double point- Yeah, double points for the last runner. So at least it still has that. It doesn't get rid of that. At least it's not like, uh- Or at the very least, like, it's not like, Oh, we provide, uh, 1.5 times the amount of points instead. Which at that point, just keep it in here. And luckily they did, so I'm happy about that. But still. I feel like- I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they did add, like, a new breakout hard mode difficulty and make it even harder. That would actually be very cool because it would probably do like a major increase in rewards. But my lord, it just kind of depends on like rankings and stuff too because you probably have to add more rankings. Which, interestingly enough, they did. Literally, they added rankings that were past the... Uh, oh, I'm still living. I'm fine. They did add rankings that were past like rainbow rank. Which, I don't even know what they're titled because like they're that glorious. They come in so many different like sizes and shapes that I can't even just tell you like what they are. But I can tell you that they're way more valuable than the old rankings that we had. Yeah, destroy them all. Destroy them all. Let's, let's do good. Let's beat the dragon. But, yeah. They would have to add a lot more rankings. Or at least make the uh, profit, like the value of the previous rankings, a lot better. And like, more valuable. But, I don't know. I digress. It's just an interesting idea. Maybe I can make a video that's like, top 10 ideas, like for cook around oven break modes. But, I don't know. It'd just be interesting. And it wouldn't even be, like, ranked from, like, uh, you know, my least favorite to my most favorite. It would just be, like, oh, these are just ideas that came up in my top of my head. And, like, hey, they're here now. So, yeah. By the way, hello there, you scary-looking dragon. I don't like how many times that you're shooting the laser out of your eyeball. Like, I'm just saying. Does that hurt? How bad would it be to, like, shoot lasers out of your eyeballs? Like, how much would that hurt? Because you're literally shooting, like, a beam of heat straight from your eyes. Like, even I wouldn't, like, want to wish that upon someone, because I feel like that would be too, like, petrifying, even for me. But, okay, we finally fell there. That's enough. We did get 600 million points, uh, you know, there we go, yeah. 
like 300 million, 305 million actually, but like combined with the double points, over 600 million, which we did end up getting Ruby 4, surprisingly, which definitely isn't the best because I think the best we can get is Ruby 1. But hey, we did complete the run, though off camera, I'm probably just gonna come back through this and I'm just gonna probably just like go through the normal mode and just get more rewards out of it. Unless if it does give us like the same amount of rewards like separately so it gives us easy mode rewards and also hard mode rewards that would be nice but for now i think i'm just gonna keep it at uh the normal difficulty this will reset your corn score are you sure you want to change difficulty yeah i'm just gonna change it only just because uh i'm definitely just gonna run this again and yeah it doesn't even say the score because i reset it it just says uh run so if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell to be notified of whatever i do in the future also i have merch list available if you want to check it out but i'm not forcing you to buy anything also i have a discord that is linked in the description come join it if you want to do some awesome things and also the cookie run iceberg resurface let's see if we can get that video to 100,000 views but above all else i will see you and the guardians in the next video hail the hype news